This video will show you how to install the Recluse Torque Drive Clutch for select Indian motorcycles using the Thunderstroke engine platform. The tools needed for this job are 5, 6, and 8 mm Allen wrenches, a 10 mm socket, 13 and 14 mm wrenches, a torque wrench, a pick, and a container to catch the oil. To get started, stand the bike up on a suitable lift or stand. Using a 6 mm Allen, remove both oil drain plugs and sealing washers. Allow all the oil to drain out into a suitable container. The clutch cable, shift linkage, and floorboards will all need to be removed out of the way of the primary cover. Using a pick, remove the snap ring retaining the clutch cable. Next, remove the shift linkage using a 5mm Allen wrench. After loosening the jam nut, fully collapse the clutch cable. This will help with removing the clutch cable from the clutch actuator arm. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the clutch actuator bolt. Then use a 10mm socket to remove the clutch cable bracket. Using an 8mm Allen wrench, remove the floorboards. Remove the floorboards and shift linkage as one assembly. Next, remove the clutch actuator arm, and then remove the clutch cable. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, remove all of the primary cover bolts. Verify that the shim has not come off the shift shaft. If it's missing, check the inside of the primary cover and be sure to return on installation. Next, use a 10mm socket to remove the pressure plate bolts and springs. Remove the pressure plate. Remove the friction discs and drive plates. The judder spring and judder seat at the back of the clutch pack can remain in place as it will be used upon reinstallation. The judder seat will go in first, followed by the judder spring with the cup side facing out. Soak the new recluse friction discs in engine oil for at least 5 minutes. Make sure both sides are coated. Check the basket tangs and center hub for any notching. Do not install recluse basket sleeves or attempt to install the clutch with a notched basket or notched center hub. Install the recluse basket sleeves into the basket slots. Make sure the sleeve tabs sit against the inside of the basket, then push the sleeves down until they contact the bottom of the tang slot. Before installing the clutch, verify that the judder seat and judder spring are in place. First, install the Recluse judder friction disc. This is the disc with the wider inner diameter which accommodates the judder spring. Start by installing six 48 thou drive plates, alternating each with a thin friction disc. Then install the five 40 thou inch drive plates, alternating each with a thin friction disc. On top of the last drive plate, install the thick friction disc. Reinstall the OE pressure plate. Verify that the clutch lift rack is still in place. Install the recluse pressure plate springs, followed by the OEM pressure plate bolts. Loosely tighten down all the bolts. 
torque the bolts in a star pattern to 7 foot pounds. Clean the gasket surface of the crankcase and primary cover. Replace the primary gasket if it's been damaged. Clean off any dirt or debris from the shift shaft. Apply a thin layer of grease to the shift shaft seal before installing the primary cover. Verify that the shim is located on the shift shaft against the snap ring. Before installing the primary cover, make sure the clutch rack is angled to align with the clutch shaft inside the primary cover. Install the primary cover. Reinstall the primary cover bolts. Lightly tighten the bolts in the following pattern. Tighten the bolts in small increments. Once the bolts are all tightened down, torque to 15 foot-pounds in the same pattern. Next, route the clutch cable back through the bracket. Reinstall the floorboard assembly. Torque to 35 foot-pounds. Next, reinstall the snap ring to the clutch cable bracket. Reinstall the clutch cable support bracket. Torque to 84 inch-pounds. Reinstall the shift linkage, making sure the timing mark on the shift linkage and shaft are aligned. Reinstall the bolt. Torque to 84 inch-pounds. Next, install the clutch cable to the actuator arm. Rotate the clutch shaft clockwise towards the engine case until it won't move forward anymore. Rotate the actuator arm counterclockwise towards you and gently align the splines. Reinstall the bolt and torque to 84 inch-pounds. Next, reinstall both oil drain plugs, making sure the sealing washers are in place. Torque the bolts to 15 foot-pounds. Refill the oil to factory specification. Readjust the clutch cable to obtain proper free play between the clutch lever and the clutch lever mounting bracket. Reposition the cable adjuster cover after the final adjustments made.